Welcome to my Saturday vlog. Today you're going to join me. Who knows what's going to happen. I'm going to be walking a five mile walk today. It's a perfect day. We had rain all week and I really, really need to get my walk in. So I'm guessing, my guess is I'm going to park, walk two and a half miles in one direction, two and a half miles back. Or I could go to Valley Forge Park and do the five and a half mile loop. I haven't decided yet. Anyways, we'll do that. And what else? I have to go to Walmart. This year I'm not starting my herbs from seed. I'm going to buy the already little potted, the potted plants, you know, that are what, three, four inches high. I'm going to get basil, sage, tarragon. What else? I already have rosemary. I already has, I already have thyme. And I might get a, I might get a, la, uh, a lavender as well. I also need to get some mulch. There's a, a community mulch place near me in Chestnut Hill where you can get all the mulch you want. So I, I might swing by there and get as much mulch as I can. If I can get about 20 or 30 shovelfuls and just throw it in the back of the truck, that would be perfect. And then, what else? I do have to swing by my brother Vincent's house. You guys already know my brother Tony Bruno, but did you know that there's a Vincent? So I'm gonna be swinging by Vinny's house and giving him a haircut. Of course, I'm gonna be all face masked up. Probably, I'm guessing I'm gonna do it out in his yard. It's okay to take care of your family. Your family, if you cut hair, your family should never ever have to pay for a haircut or beauty services. I think that's just my opinion. Other people have thought differently. But I'm I'm cool. And I, I haven't seen Vincent in we stay in touch via text, but I haven't seen him in two months since this whole thing started. And he's been a very crucial part of a business a certain business going. So I'll probably end up doing a video on his haircut as well. Or maybe have it be part of this. I have my portable bag. It's a tool bag with all my haircutting equipment. I have like three sets of haircutting equipment. This one always travels with me wherever I go. Sorry for the bumpy roads. This is Pennsylvania. The land of taxes. Man, they, they and they know how to cut off business. Woo! Two months, everything shut down. We can't get a damn pothole filled. But my Lord, we can get signs and stickers everywhere telling us what to do during this plan them ick join me on my journey today my Saturday vlog something a little bit different thou shalt not be boring is one of my main ideas and I just want to keep you keep you coming back to the channel See you in a bit. I was going to do one of two things. I was going to either log any edible plants on my walk or take pictures of every flower that I see. So I ended up taking pictures of flowers. The path that I walked on ended up being a, sprayed with herbicide and there was a lot of dead vegetation which irritated the hell out of me because it was right alongside of a river. But I took pictures of every flower, just absolutely magnificent. And I love close-ups on flowers. I like, you don't really see the world of a flower unless you look at it with a magnifying glass. So, so these are the flowers that I encountered on my walk. They're just magnificent. And they're tiny too, very tiny. There was nothing big yet. And when I, these flowers, literally, there was nothing bigger than a half inch from petal to petal. Very tiny flowers. Beautiful, variegated, 
pretty, attractive. I loved them. I also ran into uh, a Byzantine church and I had to get a picture of it. It was just beautiful. And I looked at the cornerstone, which was 1903. That was kind of cool. On my way back from my walk, had a very good walk, went to the store, went to uh, Lowe's, Ace Hardware. Boxwood basil. Two little bushes. It's gonna grow up to be like a nice bush. Flat leaf parsley. Several plants in there. That'll be massive all summer long. Mexican tarragon, because I made a Baronese sauce the other night. It was jonesing for tarragon. Just regular sage, got a few plants there. That'll grow wild, it'll be awesome. Lavender for when I cook fish. That'll be exciting, and just traditional basil. Can't wait to plant this all today. So that's my trip. Sometimes I will take a whole sprig of lavender, put it in the pan, and then put the salmon on top. So that's my trip today. Now, uh, I will be going to Vinny's and cutting Vinny's hair. Because I don't think he's had a hair, I don't think I've given him a haircut in three months. His hair is probably very long right now. So I'll see you at the haircut. Welcome to the Family Haircut channel. This is Vinny. You guys already know Tony. But Vinny just uh, hooked me up with a IPA. But I've never seen one that opens up like this. This is a trip. So you drink it like it's a glass. Oh, that's good. Can you see that? Yeah, it's good. All right, I have some alcohol here. It's basically for me, not for you. you know, just to... So we're out in the garage. Oh, you know what? I got to put the uh, tape on you. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of hair. Yeah, you do, man. Crazy. When was the last time I cut hair? Like three months ago? I tried. Well, so I gave you like a really short hair. Tried a long time ago. All right. I can't even remember. That's how long ago. Alright, so this is before. And watch what happens when I transform him from wild man to oh we'll figure out what he's gonna what he's gonna be. I just missed him down a little bit. Some of you don't realize when I go, I always put a uh, a few squirts of conditioner in my spray bottle. It helps manage the hair better, especially flyaway hair, and it keeps the hair wet longer. So I'm not dealing with hair that's constantly drying. Well, it's a good beer. Yeah, seriously good. Yeah, it's, it's up there. I don't think I've cut your hair for three months. Last time we did it was in the kitchen, and this is before the virus thing, right? Yeah, we're probably not. It was three, three, it was cold out. It was cold out. So what I got, I think I'm gonna, at the lowest, I'm gonna start with a, with a two. I don't wanna do a haircut by the numbers, but I think a two is gonna be pretty good. Let's start with that. Hmm, you need any light? I can't believe how gray you got, man. What happened? You got more gray now. Maybe because it's longer, it seems like you got more gray. No, it's crazy. I'm just removing a lot of bulk right now. Just want to get rid of the bulk. We're not going to be doing any blow drying. This is a Corona garage cut.
I think the last haircut I gave you was pretty short. Yeah. Like a skin pin, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe how it grew in, man. How are you coping with this corona thing, man? It's, it's crazy. I, I, haven't, uh, I haven't missed a beat. Yeah. You haven't been sick or anything? Yeah. I've been sick and it's been wearing a mask at work for now. Well, at, least, at least three weeks, eight hours a day. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's no so, joke, right? Yeah. That's no um, joke. But yeah. A lot of people who are not working. I yeah, know, it's crazy. Yeah. We're lucky to have jobs. All right. Golfing is starting again. You going to get out there? Yeah, probably this week. Get the links? Yeah. Yeah. You are? Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, you know you know which course you're going to yet? Three or four in my nice that are close by. You know what? I'm gonna have another beer, another sip of beer. This really is pretty good. It feels weird not drinking out of like a little hole. Yeah. Like that. I mean it's just it's like drinking out it's of a glass. Yeah. Interesting. I found out my persistent cough was uh, allergies. So I wasn't corona out. I was worried. There's a lot of uh, pollen right now. A lot of pollen. Big time. The truck bed is filled with pollen. Uh, it's green. Everything turned green. Uh, now, last year, I think this time I was dying. Yeah. I never had allergies ever. Yeah. Ever. Me. Me either. Anything. This is the year that I got hit. I don't know why. I don't know what's different about this year. I'm not sure. Because of the, uh, not the winter. The winter? The, what, there was no winter. There really wasn't much of a winter, was there? Nothing. I didn't have to pull the snowblower out at all. Not no, once? Maybe, yeah. For real? No. Didn't use the snowblower once? No. Wow. You're up pretty early in the morning, like me, right? What time do you get up? 3.30. What time? 3.30. 3.30? That's up before me. I get up at 4. No traffic, though, at all, even now. Yeah, right. So you think, uh, I think, uh, Pennsylvania, like this area right here, could be the last team to get it anything. Is. It is. So close to New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and New York. Mm. It's crazy, isn't it? What the hell is going on? You know this is about more than a virus. You know. It's nuts. It's, nuts. it's unprecedented in our lifetime. Yeah. Shutting everything right down.
are you doing? Just a, a regular? Mm -hmm. I don't even care how you do it. You can do it. Just a regular haircut. Oh, classic, just a oh. classic handsome haircut. Like low maintenance. Yep, that's what this is. Low maintenance. <clears throat> that's what this is. Ash bore. Got rid of them in the damn spotted lantern. So, mm -hmm. but two monstrous trees that are done. And the whole like top of it came down. On the end of it. This is a Brio Axis trimmer. It's a T blade. I love going around the ears with this and lining up the nape of the neck. It's just it's simple. It's light. I'll put a link for it down below. Maybe I'll put links for everything down below. Best straight razor for lay people. I used to use this when I worked at Art of Shaving. It's a uh, Dovo Shavette. Find me right in my face. And you put the blade in this little holder. Slide the holder in. You change the blade in between clients. It's awesome. I think the last person I used this on was you in the kitchen months ago. Seen out of the Godfather. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jeez, God, <laughs> you got a Scare you for a second? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> all right, so this is pure alcohol, so this is going to feel like pure joy. Does that hurt? Nah. No. Oh, okay. Nice. Wherever the blade touches, I put the alcohol. It's got a little bit of winter green in it, so it's coming. Kind of ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, right. Application and then styling. You always put it all throughout the whole hair. And then you style it. You don't just put it on one side. Get it all through the hair. There you go, the after picture, what I call uh, classic handsome, short on the sides, long on top, can do multiple styles. 
I did more of a slick back with him. Uh, he can sweep it to the side, do a hard part if he wants, mess it up, scrunch it up. So there you go. Classic handsome haircut on Vinny. What do you think? Well, you haven't seen it yet, so. But you trust me, though. Cheers, my brothers and my sisters, wherever you are. Watching this, you're probably under lockdown right now. And just know that the Bruno brothers are thinking about you. So a post haircut bowl always works well out in the garage. Yeah. I just put it right here with a magnet. Put a little bit of an IPA. Sly Fox. For those of you that don't know it, I was the Sly Fox guy in the Sly Fox commercials. For a very short period of time, I was synonymous with Sly Fox beer. It was when my hair was darker. I like it. Cheers, man. Cheers. Just old faithful, man. This thing just treats me so well. Yeah, I made that, my God. How long ago was that? You like that? Had a good long walk today. Did some shopping. Got my herbs. What else? Got the hair on the back of my neck trimmed. Got Vinny's hair. It's a good productive day. You work today? You did? Yeah. You got to work tomorrow? Yeah. What days do you have off? Monday. Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably a pound of hair. <laughs> that was a lot of hair. That was really good. I haven't had a beer in since like last summer. We should come up with a face mask with a hole in it where you put a pipe through it. Because think about it. You're puffing, you're sucking air in through this, but it's got to go through fire. So you're not going to inhale anything pathogenic in through a pipe. But how would you blow air out though? You'd have to like lift up the mask, otherwise you would gag yourself, right? The smoke <laughs> would be in the mask, right? Yeah. Yeah, one thing about these though, they go down quick. They do. Is that a 12 ounce? Yeah. It went down like it was <laughs> three ounces. You know, when you're drinking out of something like that, it's not being limited or restricted by a small hole. It's just like, it's pouring into your mouth. You smoke a pipe every day? Yeah. Okay. How often do you smoke a pipe? A couple times a week. That's like me. So who's making the tacos? You or Jen? Me. You? What do you put on your tacos? Uh, Are they shredded lettuce? But uh, what kind salsa. of meat? What is the meat? Oh, uh, 80 20 burger. With like a taco mix? Yeah, that's all. Right, taco meat. You put that, you use the uh, hard shells or the soft shells? The hard shells that stand up. And then you the stand up. Put shell. the taco meat in it, and then what? Does everybody in the family make their own, or do you make them for everybody? Everyone makes their own. So it's like a little, I, yeah, like I a like, little, yeah. 
Assembly line. Assembly line. Yeah, I like. All right, like so you put the meat in first. Then what? Meat. Then uh, put the cheese, and then uh, cheddar, cheese, and then salsa. Yeah, sharp cheddar, or like the Mexican blend. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, cheddar, mari, and uh, yeah. What about so, um, guacamole? Put that in there. Sour cream. Sour cream. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. How about on minced onions? Yeah, that too. Red onions. Diced tomatoes. Salsa. Last Put time I was in Florida. I was at Tony's house. Mom was with us. She went to Taco Bell and I think she got like a, a box of 20 tacos. I think she had one or two and then me and Tony devoured the rest. How many tacos can you eat? Probably oh, six. <laughs> me too. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Six, you're good. And do you have beer or do you have like uh, some tequila based Adult beverage. Well, I'd like to get tequila, but you can't get. You have to special order it. And, oh, right. Yeah, unless you go to a different state. That's right, because you can't get tequila now, can you? Yeah. You can't just walk into a liquor store. Now. I do have some in the basement, though. But yeah. It's only for a special occasion. Mm -hmm. Last night I made a uh, watermelon martini. Watermelon juice, pure watermelon juice, vodka, and lime. And it was amazing. I couldn't believe how good it was. Crazy. I don't know if there's a, an official name for that drink, but man, it was good. It was something that probably you should have like in like on hot August Saturday night. It wasn't really like a April May kind of drink. Longer stem, yeah, more less fire. Yeah, it, it kind of it kind of cools up, cools off the smoke yeah. a little bit, doesn't it? It's kind of like a like a mini church warden. This is a bad bowl here. You went through that bowl fast. Uh, you know what's weird is like when your head is like pointed in that direction, and I'm looking at the gray hair. I don't. It looks like you're bald, but you're not because the gray hair. You, like you can see the skin right through it. Right. I can see the dark hair in the back, but the gray hair looks like it's skin, but it's not. It's gray hair. It's the new look. Compared to what you had. <laughs> my God. When are you going golfing? That was Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. You got to do like social distancing and all that? Yeah. Right. You got to walk. Wear a mask. You got to wear a mask? Yeah. One cart per person? Or do you walk it? Yeah. So two guys yeah, can't share a golf cart. Probably not. That's the, the rules right now. So. Mm. Yeah. Get a little thirsty. Uh, you want another? No, nah, because I got to drive. <laughs> Always enjoy having a pipe with my brother after a haircut. I haven't had a beer in since last summer. And that was good. If I drank it every day, you, you kind of take it for granted, but because I haven't had it literally about nine months, it was good. IPA, 6%, nice. Show people how, how that comes off. Oh, this is a different one. This is the, uh, the Pilsner. Pilsner? Show, show them the top. Like Lynn Pils. And then... Interesting. It's just okay. interesting. Let it breathe a little bit. Mm. Let me get a whiff of that. Oh my god. That makes me want to have another one. But I, I gotta drive. I'm a pretty simple guy when it comes to beer, but my beer tastes have changed, I'd say, in the past 10, 15 years. That tobacco is gone. So that was good. That was good pipe. That was a good, good tobacco. You like your haircut? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I like it. Looks good. Thanks. Thank you very much. It's a uh, classic, easy to take care of. A little bit of product or no product at all. 
Looks good. Looks good on most faces. I don't let anyone else cut my hair. Yeah. That's like me with my father. I, when I was growing up, nobody but my father cut my hair. Nobody. My beard is crooked. I have like a Gumby beard. I think it's from the face mask I was wearing all day. Face mask life is weird, isn't it? Is it just weird? Like, because I'm in a face mask eight hours a day when I work at the prison. Right. When I go to the hospital, I have a face. It's just odd. I find myself putting my finger up and, like, bringing it away from my face just to, like, breathe cool, fresh air every now and then and then just kind of put it back. Yeah, especially me. I'm working in refrigeration going in now. And it just... Especially working with fish, so. Yeah, right. That extra, oh, yeah, that I extra, imagine. You know, two car garage right here. Yeah, right. I had Taco Bell this week for lunch, and I smelled nothing but tacos for the rest of the day because I was like smelling my own breath all day long. It was like chalupa breath. Oh, I can think of things worse than chalupa breath. You know, I feel bad for people who have bad breath. It's a shame. Oof. Gas yourself. Crazy. <laughs> hey, when, when meat, when meat gets banned, which it will get banned. Meat is going to get banned. I'm going to be fishing and having fish every night. And I'll be eating squirrel. Pew. Everyone else will be eating soy tacos. I will be eating squirrel tacos. Rabbit tacos. I don't care. Raccoon tacos. No soy in my house. <laughs> you know Grandpa used to shoot squirrel throughout the spaghetti sauce. We had the kind of grandfather that would shoot squirrel, literally. Skin it, gut it. Bring the carcass in, lift up the lid, throw the squirrel in. Cook that sucker all day, the meat falls off the bones, my grandmother would strain the bones out. We grew up not even knowing we were eating squirrel. That's some crazy stuff. Dad used to eat possum. Hey, that's what happens, man. Okay, you gotta eat. You gotta eat. You're not taking my meat. You're not taking my meat from me. Ain't gonna happen. Might be imitation crab meat, but there's no imitation bacon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Although I, I have developed a taste for that imitation crab meat with the fake red dye on it to make it look like, uh, like what's that? What is that stuff? What is imitation crab meat made of? Uh, it's fish, pollock. though, right? Pollock and boy fish. All right, but it's not I soy. Uh, I don't think that is. Oh, Jesus. That's there's rough. soy in everything. Me and Tony started eliminating all the soy from our kitchens. If you took all the soy out of your kitchen, you'd probably get rid of most of your food. Soy's in everything. Everything. Take a glass of water and put in 13 spoons of sugar. Stir it up. Coke has the sweetness of a glass with 13 spoonfuls of sugar. Great, yeah. Why not just take the sugar and just jam it down your throat? It's almost like Coke is like a sugar delivery system. I'm gonna have spaghetti and meatballs tonight. That's what I'm having. You're having tacos. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now we're in a garage. So I'm garaging it. Yeah. You know, Six foot apart. I'm on Social the distancing. I'm on the stairway to heaven. Right yeah. There. there we go. Stairway to heaven. Only a few people will get that from Vinny's garage. It's George and Vinny. Vinny. Peace out. What a nice, rich, full day that was. Saturday with the Sultan. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm heading home. I'm going to have spaghetti, meatballs, and sausage with linguine tonight. I'm forgetting all the carbs. People say, are you still doing carnivore? Well, I do mostly meat on the weekends. I eat whatever I want. But I'm dying for some spaghetti, sausage, meatballs, grated cheese on it. There's a lot of people hiking. I see there's a trailhead right here. And there's a lot of people out in the woods today. I do need to get my fishing license. I don't know where I'm going to get it. I don't know who is actually selling them. Hey, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I feel like you're right with me when I do this. Have a good rest of your weekend. Be productive. Relax when you can. 2020. Listen, 2020 threw us a little curveball, didn't it? But there's still no reason why you can't make it the best year of your life. It's going to be the weirdest year of your life, but it can also be the best year of your life. This is the year you get unstuck. I hope you enjoy some of the specials that I put out, the interviews that I do. I, I think of you 
whenever I do the interviews. I try to think of who are the people that are watching this video when I do an interview, when I pick out a guest. And I try to give you the best, most actionable information. Information you can use in your body, information you can use in your brain, in your relationships, your marriages. I don't know if anyone else is doing that right now online. I don't. But I don't mind playing that role in your life. When everyone else is all gloom and doom and the despair loop from morning until night, I say stop with the negativity. Stop with the pessimism. Stop with the gloom and doom. No matter what happens in the world, you are still in charge of your life. No one else, no one else is in charge of your future.